Yo, what's up guys, my name is Nick and welcome to another video on uh, F122. This time it's not my team uh, as we are doing a sprint race um, at the Austrian GP. Of course, the real one already happened um, as this one is getting uploaded, but I'm recording this uh, before because I want to get this out in time. Um, but yeah, the, these two Tuesday videos are not going to be uh, my team videos, but they are also not going to happen every week. Uh, it's just like when I have time to make a video and I uh, have some fun ideas or anything, then I will make it. Um, but yeah, maybe next week there won't be a video and the week after that, once again, there will. Um, I don't know. As we are getting the sprint race started, still in P20, as we had quite a bad start. Uh, you can see here, 4 wide through turn 3, um, as Ricciardo um, spins a little bit, so that's just up into P16 already. Thank you for that, mate. We really need to make up some quick positions as we want to win the uh, actual Grand Prix. Um, as you can see... Going through lap 1. Hunting down Vettel and Albon. Albon in P14. To be honest, I'm quite surprised by that. Of course, there was a small crash of 4 people. Who eventually managed to get um, away with it. So they can all drive uh, to the finish line. Hopefully, if they don't get anything on their engine or something like that. Uh, but this is one lap around the Austrian Grand Prix. As there's a yellow flag... Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, to be honest, I just said something about the engine. As oh, we almost collide with Norris, but then yeah, Norris' um, engine just gave up, uh, and he almost managed uh, to get a lot of other people involved with that. Luckily, that didn't happen. Um, as you can see, we are already in P13. As we are getting a track limits warning. Um, to be honest, some of the wa these warnings are just kind of bullshit because um, yeah I go like one millimeter out of the uh, the race or the track uh, and I already get a penalty for that uh, as you try to overtake Albon um, I had a little bit of a collision with him so I just checked uh, at my engineer to see if I got any damage uh, but if they say that everything with the tire um, if the tires is great, then you are safe that there is nothing um, that happened to your car, like wing damage or anything. And this is another car out of the sprint race. Uh, it's Lance Stroll, as you can see in the top of the screen. Um, so yeah, this is up into P12. And there's only lap 3. Let's hope to get a few more positions. Um, as we are getting to the end of Q... Uh, why do I say Q3? Like, I mean... Oh no, oh no, we have a time penalty uh, because of those other two kind of bullshit um, penalties or warnings. If you don't want me to swear, let me know in the comments. I will um, try not to swear. I don't do it a lot in these videos, but uh, yeah, sometimes I just, uh, yeah, I just say some words. Of course, I'm not going over the line with the words, so I'm just staying safe. As we overtook Sonoda already, and now trying to overtake Schumacher um, in left 6 already. And we managed to do that into turn 9 and 10. Really happy with that, as we need to make up 3 seconds to him, just to get that position. Um, going into lap 10, as we already caught up, uh, or finally caught up, to be honest. Uh, with Bottas and Magnussen. They were both qu uh, battling quite a lot, so I um, didn't expect to get past um, or just get three seconds ahead, of course, because there are only two laps left of this. Uh, and going into the penultimate lap, we overshoot the corner a lot. Uh, we just break too early, or too late, I mean. Um, and that was, I think, our only chance uh, gone as we try to get around the outside of Bottas, but Magnussen blocks us So we don't have any chance to get past him in his last lap um, So yeah, we 
Couldn't do anything more than P10 for the sprint race, but it's still already half the way up to the first place. Um, that is the sprint race done. Let's just move on to the actual big Grand Prix. As we are driver of the day, of course, we overtook 10 people, so it's quite logical that we are driver of the day. Coming to the race, we are in P10. Uh, uh, the lights are going on. And once they're out, we are underway, getting a bad start. Whoa, almost collision with uh, Sunuda as we fall back to P14. Uh, Not happy with that at all. We are starting on the hard compound of time because uh, it's going to rain at the end or maybe the middle of the country as we want to save a pit stop by going on the hards as we almost collide with Guan Yuzhou and Pierre Gasly as well. Uh, we have a collision, a small one with uh, the Chinese driver, but we don't have any wing damage from that so I'm really happy with that. Of course, coming into turn 5. Oh, uh, for, for I mean, uh, going down the inside of Guan Yu Zhou and Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo is already behind us, or hopefully he is still alongside us. No, he is now behind us as we try to overtake the Chinese driver. Of course, he's doing uh, a good job IRL with getting a little bit of points. Uh, of course, had a horrible cra crash in Silverstone. Um, he managed to survive that, so that is uh, really good from him. As I uh, try to overtake Albon um, into lap 2. And it's now also Pierre Gasly who I'm overtaking. So we need to get those positions fast. Because we aren't even at a starting position yet. And we already lost 2 laps to that. Uh, Pierre Gasly coming back again. Trying to overtake me. But uh, I'm not going to allow that. So we are going around the outside at turn 4. Um, so yeah, he is still there and he managed to get in front of us, I don't know how, even though he is in the sister team, uh, yellow flag it is for, I think Yuki Tsunoda it was, or maybe the Haas in front of that, uh, but nothing really happened, to be honest. Alright, so now uh, at the end of lap 2 we go down the inside at turn 9 um, and that's Pierre Gasly overtaken and us up into P12 hunting down Tsunoda and Schumacher to try and get into the points of course there's not enough we want to race um, yeah we are racing I don't know what I'm saying but uh, there's another track limits warning um, so hopefully we don't get any more as there's a little bit of ping pong we are doing here as Sebastian Vettel would say going three wide doing the cutback switcheroo but it doesn't work out um but yeah we ask if the tire conditions are still looking good no we don't we ask if the vehicle condition is good but when they say that uh, you know you don't have any wing damage or anything like that um, but if you look at the minimap in the left uh, corner you can see that uh, one of the Ferraris is really getting away with this uh, race as Tsunoda is having a problem with his car and this is him out of this Grand Prix. Uh, sadly enough, it is a uh, Red Bull powertrain engine. Of course, I don't think it can happen to us uh, or I didn't have any settings to put that on or off because that would be uh, kind of crazy to just in a normal Grand Prix be overtake or be... Um, taken out by a uh, by a uh, problem um, I don't know why I'm struggling with my words as we have a fault with our DRS um, we are not in anyone's DRS zone um, just yet we are, but we are catching up to Bottas uh, so that's not really helpful as we need to get our DRS back to overtake him or oh, no we don't we go around the outside at turn 3. You can see there's a long, long um, uh, line of cars. But we don't have the traction and the DRS. Uh, which doesn't help at all. Uh, as you can see it's already getting a little bit cloudy. 
as we uh, go down the inside at turn 4 but once again he managed to do the cutback that we tried to do earlier this race uh, but that didn't work back then coming to the lap uh, coming to the end of lap 12 and it's going to be a successful overtake finally of course he is getting the DRS now uh, as our DRS has been fixed they didn't tell me so I uh, yeah, I didn't know to be honest otherwise I would have waited a little bit longer to this trade maybe as you are already in lap 16 and as you can see it's starting to trouble a little bit uh, why do I say trouble um, I mean it's beginning to dribble a little bit um, and as you can see uh, it's not even raining that hard but we are getting a strategy call from Mark um, as he says that we already need to come in this lap it's not like it isn't really necessary but uh, coming to the end of this lap you can just see how hard it's raining already um, and coming into the pit is going to be a double stack so let's just hope for a good pit stop it's a late turn in uh, we lose also a little bit of time to Paris is pissed up and they say it's a late, late turn in uh, with an estimated pit stop of 3 seconds but we get 2.3 seconds of course we need to late, uh, wait a little bit um, so yeah to be honest um, we still lost like 3 or 4 seconds as we almost um, turn the car into the wall because it's still new tires and everything uh, the DRS has been disabled now uh, at the halfway point of this race as Ocon goes down our inside and tries to overtake us uh, but we are trying to not let that happen as he I don't know how but the AI gets a really good uh, traction out of turn 3 um, maybe they can fix that coming to the later stage of this um, game of course it's still early days as I'm recording this quite early on um, because I want to record some videos for you guys as we have a little bit of a, a tangle up with Bottas um, but nonetheless we are still in P9 as Schumacher is going to the pitch because he has waited a lap longer to go into the pitch as well as Hamilton so we're now in front of them um, so that puts us up into P7 but as you can see the gaps are quite big between the rest of the grids uh, my teammate is still fighting with one of the Ferraris but yeah the other one I think it's Charles Leclerc he just um, is in a league of his own as there's a small yellow flag for Sebastian Vettel um, I think um, but nothing really happened uh, back there so uh, there wasn't a safety car or anything um, sadly enough because if there was a safety car we maybe could have uh, tried to win the race from there but as you can see we are now in lap 31 coming to lap 32 the gap is 5 seconds one lap later the gap is 4 seconds uh, a lap later it's only 3 seconds so we are managing to uh, pull 1 second per lap uh, as you can see it's now only 2 seconds and going into the last lap is only 1 second um, but I don't think we are going to overtake them as we are quite far back still of course they are battling a little bit so maybe that helps us but it's 1.1 second as we are using everything we have uh, from our ERS as there's only 2% left even 1% no we are recharging a little bit uh, into turn 3 we go um, still 1 second behind so I don't think we can do anything about this and we need to take uh, enough with P6, um, sadly enough. Maybe we can take a lunch into the, um, or send it down the inside at turn 9 maybe. But it will be quite hard to do that from so far back as it's quite a fast corner. As Charles Leclerc was just in a league of his own winning the Grand Prix. Uh, to be honest, I don't think if it stayed right that it would come caught up with him either so uh, yeah it isn't a really uh, good challenge for us this time around as um, we finished in the top 10 last time when we tried this at the Canadian Grand Prix uh, but we also didn't get the win there as we end up in P6 um, 
so yeah that's it for today's race we are once again drive of the day but that's just not enough for us we want to win and here's our winner pulling their ferrari into park ferme after a fantastic race anthony tell me what was it that helped them achieve this success well keeping their tire temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important there's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. Yeah, so that's it for today's race. Uh, Leclerc was really in a league of his own, as I already said twice. Um, but it's a double Ferrari podium. And we have a uh, third place for uh, Sergio Perez. But I want to thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. And I'll see you soon in one of the upcoming videos of the My Team career. Goodbye guys, have a good day and see you soon.